I think if one criticism could be leveled at ISO 9001 prior to the 2015 version, it's that maybe it didn't quite talk enough to top management. Was it really addressing the business leaders in the language it used and the way it expressed things? I think that certainly changed in the 2015 version. So if you're having trouble um, engaging or, or exciting your, your business leaders, the people who run your organization about ISO 9001, um, maybe just get them to, to read clause four. Uh, 4.1 and 4.2 are clauses that talk about the context of their organization. And it talks about strategic direction and it talks about economic factors, social factors, technological factors, um, the business environment basically in which they work. Um, so that could be one way of doing it. Um, another way of doing it would be to maybe think about the words that we used. Have they got a problem with this word, for instance? Because some countries we talk to don't like that word. I personally think it's, it's absolutely fine, but does quality make them think of the wrong things? Because if you think about us as customers, when we think of quality, we think of maybe great food or, 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 or great cars or reliable products, uh, good websites. You know, we might think of, of brands that exude what in our opinion is good quality, but somehow when we step into a business framework, the word quality suddenly means different things. And, and I know that some business leaders, when they think of quality, will think of form filling you know, or, or bureaucracy or um, the thing that the guy in the corner does when he, when he walks around and does auditing. And of course, that's not quality at all. Quality is about delivering um, on requirements, principally uh, customer requirements. So it might help, for instance, if you were to replace that word um, with business. You know, what if you talk about, instead of a quality management system, of course, it would help if I could spell the word business, but if you talk about a business management system rather than a quality management system, would that help? Because I know some companies have done that. I think one company actually banned the use of the word quality. Uh, it's a business management system because actually that's what the quality management system is. It's a framework that helps you manage the business so that it delivers on all the requirements it needs to deliver on. It keeps customers happy and facilitates a continual improvement cycle. What company wouldn't want to continually improve? Because uh, it helps them progress as a business. Um, so you can lose these sort of words. Don't call it the ISO quality manual. Maybe don't even call it the quality manual. Maybe call it the business manual. Maybe don't even call it a manual at all. Call it whatever you like. Have a selection of, of exciting documents in PowerPoint that, that present your company in the way you want to present it. Engage your business leaders by asking them what they want their system to look like. And then they should be just saying, well, I want it to look like our business. So make it look like your business, make it fit the culture. Um, so engaging top management um, shouldn't be difficult if you get them to talk about their business. And actually, that's what the context clause is all about. And the leadership clause is all about leading that business.